Arirang Prime. Hawa Oruchi from Turkey collapsed from cerebral hemorrhage. Doctors said she doesn't have much time left. Yen Li from Vietnam was diagnosed with the final stages of brain cancer. Cancer has already spread to her entire body. She's only 23. To her mother, it's heart-wrenching to see her daughter like this. An Myung-hee from Korea had a stroke four months ago. Her elderly husband is the only one who's taking care of her. But it's not the illness that's giving this couple such a hard time. It's the loneliness. They stand at the crossroad of life and death. In the end, they will have to die alone, but they are feeling more lonely and helpless than ever. They are immigrants and hospice patients living in Germany. Far from their home country, they have no choice but to spend the last moments of their lives in a foreign hospital room. They are immigrants. I have seen many of them pass away here. All I do is hold their hands and keep them company as they await their death. Many immigrant volunteers in Germany have joined me in this cause. Frau Kim is a tolle Frau. Und sie versucht nicht nur sich selber helfen oder für ihre Landsleute helfen. Sie versucht immer die ganze Immigranten helfen. Das finde ich sehr schön. Sometimes heartbreaking, sometimes painful. It's a sad but beautiful relationship. I stay by their side today as always, so that they don't feel lonely on their final journey. Winter in Berlin is unusually chilly this year. I received an emergency call and rushed to a hospital in the downtown area. Hawa Oruchi from Turkey, who collapsed not so long ago from cerebral hemorrhage, is completely paralyzed. She's almost in a vegetable state.
She wants to spend the final days of her life quietly at home. But she has no family to take care of her. So her husband asked me to help them. What this couple needs now is a friend who will hold their hands. As soon as I arrived, I convened a meeting. We have to find a nurse who can take care of the patient over a long time. Yeah, hello. Here is Nokmal Kim. The patient wants a nurse from Turkey, but finding one turned out to be a challenge. Luckily, we found a facility where the couple could stay and receive care in a home-like atmosphere. Yeah, the terminally ill hospice patients. We are the only hospice volunteer group for immigrants in Germany called Dongbanja, meaning partner. Established in 2005, our hospice has more than 170 volunteers from 12 countries, including Korea, China, and Vietnam, who help immigrants spend their final days in more comfort. The work of the engagement of Dong Heng is there, it can also be measured by the fact that Dong Heng very often takes care of his engagement. Ja, wenn Bundesministerien oder Landesministerien ja, neue Wege gehen wollen. I am Kim Inson, Korean and the founder of Dongbanja. I came to Germany four decades ago with my parents. While working as a nurse, I had to watch people of various nationalities die before my eyes. Many immigrants in particular faced lonely, grim death. Once a week, I stop by the house of a Vietnamese hospice patient. Today, I've prepared a small gift. Yeah? Uh huh. Yes. 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 Yes.
He has no one to take care of him here in Germany. He was diagnosed with cancer shortly after he came to Germany. Due to his long-term illness, he has been struggling financially as well. This Vietnamese volunteer is like family to him. At Dong Ban Cha, we assign nurses of the same nationality as patients. Oh, so that's a uh, Liberleute, that's a Elderleben, and then that's a from Buddha. Yeah. That's a from Hap, or from Buddha. Our volunteers try to help the patients live as comfortably as they can. Tay hey Van Nguyen cooks Vietnamese food for his patient to make him feel less lonely in a foreign country. But she has to grind everything to make porridge because he cannot swallow solid food. Uh, it's a nick to dig. That's the other. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. When someone is sick, the first thing they think of is their hometown and family. So too does Hoa Te Dao. He left his home country more than 20 years ago and never visited it again. Hoa Te Dao left his wife and children and came to Germany to earn money. But he didn't have the courage to return to his family as a sick person. What he's most afraid of is dying alone. Loneliness sweeps in like pitch black darkness before death. I have seen too many shed lonely tears. People who rest in peace here also died alone. This is where most of the Turkish immigrants in Germany are laid to rest. Some of the immigrants return to their home country after death, albeit as ashes. But some rest forever in a foreign land. They are lonely even after death. Perhaps that's why I still cannot forget them. Every time I come here, I recall the final moments of their lives. I especially remember the tears of one elderly woman. The immigrants resting here wanted to die in their homeland, but their wish never came true. 
결국은 이제 땅 후계 숲으로 돌아가는 건데 그 사람 마음이 외국에서 내 땅이 아닌 외국 땅에서 땅에 묻힌 되는 게 서글프고. 이머그랜스 make up 10% of Germany's population. Like in any part of the world, racial discrimination still exists here. However, I believe that all people must be equal, at least in the face of death. I have the value of my life, the way I live, the way I believe, 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 we all live different lives according to our culture and background, but when it's time to depart from this world, we're all the same. Today our volunteers are to receive hospice training. We conduct training by volunteers' nationality. Today, we will provide training for volunteers from Nepal, Bangladesh, and Korea. Hospice 자원봉사를 하려면은 교육을 받아야 돼요. 환우를 이렇게 도와주고 동행해 준다는 게 어떤 의미인지 법적으로 이 독일에서 어떤 그 그게 돼 있는지 법적 조치가 돼 있는지 이런 등등을 다 알아야 되기 때문에. 130시간에 걸친 교육을 받습니다. 감사합니다. Since the word spread about our hospice, we have been seeing more volunteers apply. I am very grateful to them. 존숙의 만세 존숙의 물고 만세 존숙의 धर्म जाति संस्कृतिको मान्छे भए पनि त्यो अवस्थामा पुगेको मान्छे छ नि त्यो मान्छे हो मानवताको नाताले मैले त्यसलाई पूरा पूर्ण रूपले सन्तुष्ट भएर पठाउन चाहन्छु भन्दै आई ह्याव सीन यु नो पीपल आर सो आइसोलेटेड दे लिव सम सोर्ट अफ यु नो किंगली लाइफ व्हेन दे आर यंग दे क्यान डू व्हाटएवर दे लाइक बट व्हेन आई ह्याव सीन सो मेनी लेडीज एन्ड ओल्ड पीपल दे ह्याव सम समथिंग इन देयर माउथ दे वांटेड टू शेयर टू समबडी बट देयर इज नोबडी टू लिसन टू इट so doing something for somebody and in return I'm not hoping anything. Yeah, I think it's pure. The training session includes discussions on different funeral rites practiced around the world. Understanding foreign cultures is crucial when it comes to nursing immigrant patients. During the break, a Korean volunteer brings some snacks. They are steamed buns called hopbang, which are popular in winter in Korea. Our volunteers are quite used to Korean food now. They're also interested in learning the Korean language. Hospice 자원봉사자들은 뭐 이런 이런 자격을 갖고 오십시오가 아니라 
와서 사람을 좋아하고 따뜻한 마음을 가진 사람이면 은 일단 다할수 있게 해요. 라고 하시는 분이 아, 당신이 옆에서 있어서 말은 못하더라도 당신이 옆에 있어서 난참 외롭지 않게 간다 이런 걸 내가 우리가 느낄 때 내가 제일 행복한 시간이에요. Wenn jemand ist, äh, diese äh, Zeit kommt, äh, vergisst man alles, was der neu gelernt hat, erinnert man oder äh, kann man nur diese Muttersprache oder diese äh, Kindheit erinnern. Deshalb äh, ich finde ich es sehr schön, wenn ich diese, äh, diese Muttersprache von den, von dem, äh, von den ich der, wenn ich sprechen kann, helfen kann. da sein kann oder da, da sein darf, ist wirklich schön und sehr interessant, das finde ich. After meeting with patients and training volunteers all day, I only get to return home late at night. As I step inside, the first thing that welcomes me is the delicious smell of dinner. Tonight we're having Korean bean sprout rice. This friend of mine has lived with me for over 20 years. She does almost all the housework because I hardly have any spare time. At home, we both like to eat Korean food and share our cultural roots. <laughs> I have no family in Germany, but my friend is my family. Whenever we have some time to ourselves, we like to reminisce about Korea. When I see my patients, all alone, I also think of my hometown and family. It's not easy seeing my patients because I too have gone through the same painful experience. In 2005, I was battling breast cancer. That's when I was able to understand the feelings of hospice patients. I was Many people are overcome by anger, resentment, bitterness when they face death. What I hoped to do, though, was to make death beautiful. 정말 잘하셨어요, 장하십니다. 하는 얘기를 저는 누구한테 나 해줍니다. 그래서 힘드시면 내려놓고 가시라. Germany has the second largest Korean diaspora in Europe. Many of our volunteers are in fact Korean. Today, one of them, Kim Jong-hyun, is to visit his patient. An Myung-hee is a first-generation immigrant. She became paralyzed after having a stroke. She also suffers from dementia. Her husband is taking care of her on his own. He doesn't want someone else to do the job. What 
그래도 뭐 제가 해야죠. 어디 음. 딴뭐 방도 없고 이럴 거 하니까. 음. 그래요. 하루 일상이 뭐 그렇죠. 음. An's husband is by her side around the clock. He has never once left the house since his wife collapsed. The two met in 1977 in Germany. Although life in a foreign country was not easy, they had each other to lean on. They raised their children, who are now married, and thought that all that was left for them was to enjoy the rest of their time together. But one day, Ann collapsed and even lost her vision. Even though her memory is gone, she still remembers her home country, her hometown, and her mother. At moments like these, Jung Hyun just quietly holds his wife's hands, saying nothing. It's not easy for first-generation immigrants to return to their home country because they would feel like strangers there. They just cherish its dear name in their hearts. While his wife is asleep, Jong Hyun leaves the house to find a new place for them to live. Using a wheelchair in an apartment without an elevator is impossible. Jong Hyun has already checked a place that could be appropriate for Mr. Huang's wife. Their current building has no elevator, which is really hard for someone in a wheelchair. Jong Hyun has been looking for a place where his wife can move around freely in a wheelchair. Later in the evening, I went to meet with the couple. 
아유 좀 보실 수 있으면 좋을 텐데 그죠? 예? 예? 사람의 제일 아픔은 낙이 있겠어요. 돈이 생각나면서 남편 뭐 자식. Having spent so long taking care of his wife all alone, the husband has developed depression. He must have missed someone he could talk to. Mr. Huang and his wife are alone again. I head to a hospital after receiving another phone call. It's a young Vietnamese woman. Wenn nicht dann eine Woche tot und wir müssen entscheiden und dann wir bleiben im Krankenhaus intensiv und dann wir hey sicken. Aber sie hat ich bin immer noch tot wieder zu Hause. She's only 23. Her cancer has spread all over her body, and she even lost her voice. She communicates with her mother using simple sign language. Und sie wünschen, wenn du schuldig nach Hause und dann sie schicken ein oder zwei Leute besucht dich, unterhalten mit dich oder spielen mit dich, helfen dich. The mother has taken care of her daughter for more than 10 years now. Fear set in when the doctor said that her daughter didn't have much time left, but she didn't want to leave her daughter in a hospital. She would not let her daughter depart in loneliness. Ich habe mit meiner Freundin und dann sie geben für mich ihre Karte, dann ich beide rufen, vielleicht sie geben bei. Ich habe gedacht, die Gesichter Vietnam und Korea, weil vorher gesichert die eine Freundin von Vietnam kommt zu ihrem Land. After hearing about us, the mother finally felt relieved. Both the mother and the daughter wanted to go home as soon as possible. But there was a problem. The mother wanted a Vietnamese nurse, but finding one proved to be difficult. Vietnam is a difficult place. Why do immigrants try to avoid spending the final days of their lives in hospitals? There are several hospices in Germany, and many locals would like to die peacefully there. Ein Hospiz ist praktisch für Menschen, die, wo eine Erkrankung festgestellt ist, die unweigerlich zum Tod führt. Also die muss schon ziemlich fortgeschritten sein und die Lebenserwartung. Each nurse takes care of four patients, helping them die peacefully. But there's such a long waiting list. 
To immigrants, it's but a distant dream. Und da auch manchmal Missverständnisse gibt. Aber für uns ist es wichtig, dass auch die Angehörigen und die Gäste selber uns sagen, was sie möchten und was sie nicht möchten. Und dann klappt es eigentlich auch ganz gut. Most of the patients here pass away within a month. Another light of life went out today. A candle burning quietly notifies others of someone's death. Die Kerze bedeutet bei uns immer, dass gerade jemand verstorben ist dort in dem Zimmer. Die Kerze, die bleibt auch so lange brennen, bis der Gast aus diesem Zimmer dann raus ist, also bis der Bestatter da war und ihn abgeholt hat. Das ist nochmal so ein letzter Gruß. We all die alone. But wouldn't it be beautiful if just as we help one another when we're alive, we can leave this world with someone by our side? Dong Heng, in seinem Schwerpunkt auch der Hospizarbeit, aber auch darübergehend, ja, äh, darübergehend hinaus ähm, ein hohes Engagement zeigt, ja, für die älter werdenden Gesamtcommunity, ja, insbesondere ja, natürlich der südkoreanischen Familien, äh, aber auch, ja, man kann auch sagen, der südostasischen, äh, Sü Süd, äh, südasiatischen äh, ja, äh, Bevölkerung, die insbesondere ja in Berlin ja, eine, eine große Zahl ausmacht. Ja. Once a week I visit a Korean church in Berlin. I am a devout Christian. There was a time when I even wanted to become a pastor. At church, I receive much consolation and strength. To ethnic Koreans, this church is also a venue of communication. We all get together once a month and share our food and catch up. Most of the first generation Korean immigrants in Germany are former nurses and miners who were dispatched from Korea. Korea was an impoverished country after the Korean War. In 1963, the Korean government dispatched nurses and miners to Germany to promote economic cooperation with the European country and bring in foreign currency. Some of them returned to Korea, but the majority stayed in Germany for good. This confusion over one's identity is the reason many immigrants feel even more alienated. And it gets worse as the end draws near. No one can stay calm in the face of death. These people are on their final journey. They could be already fighting desperately with the loneliness of the final moment. Can we help them meet a different, less lonesome end?
Today, I'm going to meet a special group of people. They are not patients, but healthy youth. They are refugees living in Germany. Jobless, they must get by however they can. This refugee camp is located amid high rises. They live in tents, where they can barely hide from rain and snow. They came to Germany to live, but because of the high unemployment rate in the country, they weren't given any job opportunities. They are lucky if they can eat even one meal a day. They are in desperate need of clothes and food. With the cold settling in fast, something must be done to help them. Winter jacket, winter shoes, and I'm also the important one in the room to stay. You can take all the place here. Luckily, the government has provided a place for women and children where they can stay warm in winter. But more than 10 men live in this small tent, hoping to find a job someday. The number of refugees around the world exceeds 10 million. Germany is the only NATO member nation to accept them. But we seem to be unprepared to protect their human rights and welfare. Me too, I like to stay with my family, but I don't have the right hand to stay with them, you know? Mm. Because when I go back to my country, it's a problem to me. Mm. So that's why I decided to come. I'm working, everything, my family, they are happy, me too, I'm happy. Yes. And I need them all the moment, mm. but I don't have the possibility to get them. I wish I help you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even though I can't resolve their problems right away, I want to let them know that they're not alone. Their only wish is to be able to work and be seen, not as foreigners with a different skin color, but as any other human being. Someone said that it's a blessing to have someone who understands you. A warm word of encouragement and a reaching hand could be the priceless support that these people need. Today, I'm on a mission to start on a plan I've envisioned for a long time. I want to establish a place where immigrants can spend the final days of their lives together. It's a multicultural house that I've dreamed of for a long time. 
노인네들은 어차피 양로원을 가야 되는데 양로원도 안 가신단 말이에요. 그러니까 우리가 같이 모여서 살수 있는 좀큰 공간. <웃음> 그러나 우리끼리 살지 말고 다민족이 모여서. I want to provide genuine companionship to immigrants so that they don't die alone, so that they can spend the remainder of their lives in comfort. 여기다 하면은 뭔가 할수 있을 것 같아 느낌이. 우리가 여기 와서 50년, 60년을 살면서 결국은 이 땅에서 죽는데 죽기 전에 조금 삶을 잘 행복한 삶을 마무리할 수 있, 있으면 좋지 않겠는가. 우리한테 와서 어, 같이 살다가 돌아가시고 싶은 사람들은 그럴 수 있는 가능성을 만들어 주는 게 저희들이 아주 비전이었어요, 꿈이었어요. I am on my way to meet those who are feeling lonely. Today could be the last day of their life. I will pray for them. So that they remember only the most beautiful moments of their life and go in peace. It's a heart-moving, sometimes just beautiful cycle of meeting people and letting them go. We can't do that. 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 I will hold their hands tight until the final moment so that they don't feel lonely anymore. If I had only one day to live, I would spend it with you as your partner.